The second debate between the college Republicans and the young Democrats was on the S-chip bill that would provide public health insurance for eligible children. The Democrats opened with their statement. October 1st, 2007. This is a day that President Bush set aside as Child Health Day in the United States. Two days later, President Bush vetoed the reauthorization of the state children's health insurance program, also known as SCHIP. Unlike many programs favored by Republicans, Democrats have developed a way to pay for this program through a cigarette tax increase. States are given, the, are given the authority to implement the program. State governments would also match all federal funds provided to each individual state, just as in the previous S-CHIP bill. The Republicans were ready with their rebuttal. Now attempting to use this program to pander to voters for the upcoming elections. It is no mistake that ultra-liberal states like New York and New Jersey are giving even greater increases in their SGIP programs. It's because the Democrats are playing party politics with the health care of poor children. Wannabe communist dictator Nancy Pelosi <laughs> 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 their, their actions are a disgraceful attempt to hold children's health care coverage hostage for political aims. Of course, the Q&A got a little heated. I would like to clarify that you want more federal control and less state control. I want like socialized medicine. You want more federal. No. I don't want <laughs> They knew would get vetoed, and they did it for political aims. And then so they, they continued to okay. resend the bill without compromising. You know it's going to get vetoed. So, and now it was the Republicans' turn for their statement. What were the Democrats thinking? I sometimes I don't even know. But in this case, I think they have a pretty good idea. First of all, I want to clarify something that they said at the beginning of their speech when they said that George Bush refused to reauthorize this bill. That's not true. George Bush said, and he consistently said, "I am in favor of reauthorizing that ship." Me, I'm verbally lazy, Bill. If you guys just send it to me, I will sign it back. I mean, frankly, I don't think that it's going to be a terrible disaster anyway. I don't think that children are going to be dropping dead in the street because of this issue. But assuming, assuming for a moment that the Democrats are right and that that will happen, there are two easy things they could have done. One, they could have passed a temporary extension to the current SHIP program and spent the next six months, six months to a year hashing out their differences with George Bush and the Republicans in order to make sure that all the helpless children get their health insurance. The Democrats fired back with their rebuttal. What the Republicans are choosing to ignore is that the new bill, which as a compromise with Republicans, requires states to develop strict plans to ensure that families don't drop their private insurance. So that was a compromise we made with you, which you're saying we didn't make with Republicans. That was one we made so that that, that wouldn't happen. But regardless, I'd like to also point out that even without that provision in the bill, the Republican argument is still flawed. Just because some families can overstretch their budgets and choose health care for their kids over other important expenses, such as savings for their children's future, doesn't mean that we should make them do that. Um, the Republicans also like to rely on free markets. They believe that free markets are the best way to handle things and that we should rely on private insurance companies. But let's face it, the free market isn't working. Healthcare costs are rising at twice the rate of inflation and four times faster than wages. The fact that there are nine million children who are currently uninsured illustrates that the free market is not the answer to the problem of uninsured children. Then the audience asked a few questions. So my question is this, do your objections really justify denying health coverage to millions of poor children? Because we Democrats care about the rest of the children that don't have health care. They don't care at all. They don't care at all. We care about the rest of the children Look, that are The thing is, the only thing that, Unless you because of the veto, all the kids still have health care. Don't miss the Young Democrats and College Republicans debate next quarter. For the Husky Cast, I'm Chanel Smith.